What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Men Only. Let's get straight into it. This one's serious? Time to end marriage. Oh. Doesn't get much more serious big than back, that. You know back. we're going to say yes because we are one, two, three, pro-divorce. Pro divorce. <laughs> My husband Brutal. and I have been together for nine years. How could you actually rep that? That is awful. He has made so many mistakes. <laughs> Not a good start. Eight car accidents. Jesus. That's in nine years. That's a car accident for every year almost. Almost. And maybe the year's not over yet, babe. So it could go nine for nine. I guess that's true. Eight car accidents, two hidden credit cards, multiple job changes, mental health issues, drug relapse. Oof. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> Recently, we were on a trip to visit his family and he had two small fender benders in the rental car. So that's 10 car crashes. We've gotten to 10. So that makes me assume they've had a lot of fender benders in the Brutus car. This man can't even drive accidents were like so that totaling the car yeah the eight that are car accidents are car accident like, like well, she's like, like a that, that chick with the tank top like or, i um, run into a pole yeah we're not counting we're not anymore. scraping the side. this chick right here looks like a female version of larry the cable guy fired. the car right i think i know this man and i think he drives in our neighborhood yeah probably <laughs> just speak with him <laughs> I am the breadwinner of the family, and my husband didn't work until recently. He does piercings, so it's not super reliable income just yet, but it picks up quickly. Piercings? I've stayed married because he's funny, and we have fun laughing together. He's smart about philosophy and books. Mulatto well, come in handy. And he's not smart uh, in a lot of other things. He doesn't Dude, make... this is why I'm telling y'all, funny guys finish first. <laughs> if you can make her laugh and giggle, you can make her cheeks clap and jiggle. Shiba and I should have bought a Honda. I'm telling you plans and he doesn't follow through on things we have two kids and we own a home mm. should i stay married or move to divorce so i think the problem is that you are married to what we in the industry would describe as a loser <laughs> it's wild how many times we see these situations <sighs> ladies why would you marry a guy if he doesn't have a good job why would you marry a guy if he doesn't have uh, you know stable income maybe he is funny but this is why i tell you guys like you want to be the funny guy funny guys finish first dude you can totally clap a girl's cheeks if you're funny. This woman married this man, had kids with this man because he's funny and he's good with philosophy. It just shows you like how emotional women really are. If you can just get to the root of the emotions of it, then you can sway a woman to do pretty much anything. That's why, you know, like in a previous episode, we were talking about women have no emotional intelligence because they think emotionally. If you think emotionally, you have no emotional intelligence. Men were logical, so we do have emotional intelligence. But ladies don't know how to regulate it because everything they react to, they re react in a way of feeling. This is the way I feel. I'm emotional. Meh. But that's how, that's how ladies react. But this dude got this woman to commit. Give, give her, uh, he got the highest honor from her. Two kids. Lives with her, married her, and all because he's funny and good at philosophy books, bro. This is why I'm telling you, bro, study the Zodiacs. <laughs> Learn your signs, study the Zodiacs, because if you can talk about that stuff, like, bro, it, the, the rest is history for you. You will do just fine if you can talk about Zodiacs. Let me, let me give you guys some, let me put you guys on some game. So let's say you're going out on a first date with a chick, and uh, you do something like real casual first. You do something super casual, right? Always ask a girl her love languages and always ask a girl her sign. And then when she tells you her sign, no matter what her sign is, like let's say she's like, oh, I'm a Cancer. And you're like, well, oh, I'm a Libra. And be like, oh my God, we have so much compatibility. And then like look it up on your phone and just make some stuff up and girls will be like, oh my God, the stars are talking. This is so great, yay. Like bro. Like I said, I do things that get results. I don't do things that are the most e ethical. I do things that actually work. Let's see. Nobody talks about how hard a separation or divorce from a 10-year relationship still, still is even one year later. You just get hit with these random waves of sadness that you didn't know you were carrying. The grieve of what once was and never will be again. <laughs> Sounds like a Nora Roberts novel. Fire! That constantly having to see each other because you have kids is draining but also wholesome at the same time. The level of stupidity in this. Stupid. Absolutely wild to me. These ladies are sitting here talking about being divorced, repping it like it's a badge of honor. Like these girls are like Girl Scouts and they're like, I got my brownie badge for for a divorce. Um, look at me. Look how cool I am. And it's like, honey, there's nothing to brag about. Being divorced is nothing to be proud of. Just say that you pick bad men. And that's cool. That's totally fine. We're all, we're all right with it.
It's okay. Just own up to it. But most of the times, these ladies don't even want to own up to that. They want to say, oh, it's the man's fault. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, goodness gracious. What is she talking about? Well, like in their 40s or 50s, a real prime target for women like myself in their 20s, let's say, who are approaching 30, they want children because these... Bro, them teeth are trying to bust out of her mouth. Shots fired! Good Lord. Men who are divorced likely have children, so they know what responsibility is. And not just that. They're at a point in their life which is quite financially stable, and they don't want to fuck up another marriage, you know? They want to get married. They want the happy family. They want a stepmother for their kids. But their kids are growing up, so they actually want another family with a younger version and do it all again family version 2.0 and but don't mess it up this time a lot of men oh, are boy, them veneers killing you ladies good lord <laughs> don't get the veneers that are all straight on the bottom i mean hell my i had braces but i guess my teeth are all kind of straight but they just look it's just like a dead giveaway when your teeth are that straight and that white like ugh. i don't know i just don't like it let me know chat do you like veneers what do you think about them? I think they can be done well. I've seen veneers that are done well, but a lot of times these veneers... Oh, my Lord! Shots fired! Woo! Um, God, that one caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, most of the time the veneers, I'm not a huge fan. So today is two months exactly uh, since I got my divorce finalized. I'm going to tell you guys some stuff I'm feeling. So initially... We're going to love to hear it. When I came home to help myself get better i was in fight or flight mode like for about a good one month or one and a half month okay as i got home got settled in i was financially set back um Duh. and mentally set back so i ended up finally getting all of that fixed with my finances my work and everything that i do along with school I also went to therapy and after everything started uh -huh. to kind of set in and I finally got everything I'd done, I needed to take care of myself and be on my own. I started doing things for myself, um, you know, drinking tea outside, journaling, focusing on myself and reflecting. <laughs> what are these hobbies, bro? <laughs> journaling, drinking tea outside. <laughs> this is why I say women, they're just incapable of having hobbies. All they get to, all they can do is just waste time. They don't have hobbies like guys like chat. Let me know your favorite hobby right now. I bet there's guys that are like, I like fishing. I like video games. I like this. Ladies just like need to waste time. Oh, I, I like I like journaling. I like tea. Like what is that's not a hobby. It's just a task. Being on my divorce and I felt like every I can feel Loki's eyes staring at me. Look at him. He looks like a murderer right here. Loki, <laughs> do you want a carrot? <laughs> Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Goodness gracious, he was looking at me like he was ready. He was plotting on my demise. Everything was going pretty well. And then, not even a few days ago, I just felt this dread. This this extreme amount of dread that it just... What, did you look in the mirror and see that hair? Shots fired! Taken over me. I know it's only been two months, but I was doing so well and i have everything oh, done i'm doing everything i need to okay. so i think everything is finally starting to kind of hit me now that i'm settled down and no longer in fight or flight or you know um my body's not in survival mode anymore okay there's a lot of stages of divorce which is like bargaining depression acceptance denial anger and i thought i had felt that during the first month and i was like okay i felt all Bro, she's way too young to be married as well chat let me know i don't, I don't like I do say ladies are suitable to find a good man, but like getting married to another 21 year old when you're 21 sometimes is really tough. You just haven't done the grunt work. You haven't, you got to build a really good foundation. That's why I say you need to date for a few years before you get married. All of it during the first month and I coped with a lot of, a lot of women want to be married, but they don't want to be wives. Big difference. So, um, no, I guess it came back around and I, I, it doesn't even feel like a specific stage of grief i can't understand what i'm feeling right now it's just go to therapy well, aren't you in it's therapy? too shocking for me like yeah. it, to finally kind of just realize that all of this has happened and i'm in a place where i can sit and think about it and i'm finally taking it in without having to stress about outside factors is a lot and now i'm going back to like i miss 
everything. I miss what I had, and I know I can move on on my own and do for myself, but right now it's just like I really, really, really am missing what I had. Maybe it's the holidays, maybe it's the loneliness, but right now I'm feeling some type of grief that is just hard to explain. And happens to a lot of women. It's called the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Stupid. These ladies think that once they get out of these relationships, they're like, well, well the next guy will be better. I have more options. And they get out and the grass they think is going to be green. And now it's brown. They look over the fence again and then it's kind of just all dirt. And then they look over one more fence and it's just a completely scorched earth. This is what's happening right now. You're young. You're adding more trauma to yourself, and now you're looking. You had a gr green pasture with this guy. You could have worked it out, but no, you wanted a divorce. All I can do is take one day at a time, but this was just my two-month update, I guess, of what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling and how it's affecting me. Take these so. days, two, two days at a time. Goodness gracious. You can see it in her eyes. But you can, Yeah, you can see the sadness, and she's just had everything sucked out of her. Poor girl. Kudos to her for getting married, but mm, you got to do the work. If you don't build the foundational trust and the foundational communication with a person, no matter how much you love each other, things aren't going to work. This is why I say if you're really young, you need to go to couples therapy. You need to go to marriage counseling. You need to do the grunt work first to build a good foundation, or you need to date this person for multiple years. I almost biggity bet you she didn't date this guy for a very long time. She probably dated him for a few months, maybe even a year or so. But nowadays, you, we live so long. We live to be 80 years old. You need to date somebody at least three years. Kevin Samuels is to say six months, but I think that's for people that are a little bit older. But I think these younger people, three to five years, bro. You need to go through thick and thin, rich, poor. You need to go through a, a lot of different stages with a person before you're like, you know what? I'm actually ready to, to get hunkered down and get married. Because the thing is, once you get married, the allure of the relationship goes away. The puppy love starts to dissipate. And you start to feel a little bit differently about each other. You may be feeling some disdain. You may feel some jealousy. You may feel for some resentment because somebody might not be holding up their bargain or holding up, you know, doing as much as you think you're doing. And then you go tit for tat and then you start nickel and diming each other. Well, I took the trash out. Well, you didn't do this. Well, I did that. And you didn't like that bickering. Um, that just requires a fluid level of communication and knowing how to approach each other so you can get to a common resolution as quickly as possible minding my motherfucking business just finished my morning sessions with all of you and there's a man that emailed me and i can't share the email because he's yapping about what company he's from and other bullshit he's like i want to know i want to know chest tats huge no no chat let me know in the comments do you like chest tats not me my women are married aren't married. I want to know why there's so many single women in this world. I want to know why there's no... Because you're delusional. <laughs> Your standards are too high. You have chest tats. Everything's fake on you, but you want us to keep it real. That's fired! That's why. Why nobody wants to get married anymore. Like you, you're on TikTok. I see your videos. I've seen my wife watching your videos. I want to, you seem like you know what you're talking about, a few things, but some things I just don't understand about you. Why don't women want to be married? Why are women choosing to be single now? I she's a runner. She's a track star. She's the runners. I want to know. Okay. And I'm like, okay, sir, you want to know? Let me give you one fucking reason. Mm -hmm. And this happened Language. this morning that I went and checked my inboxes, checked my DMs, checked my emails. In my inbox, I have a plethora, plethora of married men wanting to get a little bit of OG. And I guarantee you that this is the same thing other women are running into. The most single motherfucking man in America is a married man. Married men are so sloppy. Married men have no shame. They will cheat, 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 cheat into the It's just the married men that go after you. Stupid. This is what people don't realize is that life is a mirror, not a window. And women are marketers and men are salesmen. So, honey, if you're attracting a certain type of man, it's because <laughs> you're marketing a product that says, hey, I sleep with married men. Um, so you attract what you are. So if you're attracting messy, sloppy people and not of a high regard, that's because that's what you are. And I can almost tell you by the hair and makeup, the chest piece, these guys probably aren't super distinguished that are reaching out to her. Yeah, you can, you know, get a lot of flies that come to poop, but it's still poop at the end of the day. Some cows come home with whoever, whenever, whatever, and they do not care about getting caught because you know why? Because there are so many women dealing and accepting the bare fucking minimum from minimum from men. So, sir, many men wished on me. 
I'm going to send this link to this video to you. Okay. That's one of the reasons mm -hmm. that women have no desire to be married. They have no interest in being a sidekick, side chick mistress. They want their own man and they can have their own man. Married men will be in a woman's inbox every day, all day long. Does this help you? Okay, bye. Here's the thing. Uh, it's just the men that you attract, honey. I, I don't think most men are like that. Chat, what do you think? Personally, I could care less about another woman. In my opinion, women are headaches. I got enough of one. Uh, I love cast to pieces, but you know she's still a woman at the end of the day. There's still a lot of things that are just like, why? But she's emotional. She gets it. It is what it is. Um, but the thing is for me is I think, I think men with dignity and integrity aren't in the DMs of women that look like um, Christina Aguilera in 2005. Keep it a buck, though. Really pretty eyes. Like, cool color of the eyes, but the, the, the eyebrows, all, all of this is a disaster piece right here. Like, there's no way I would be going after um, anything like that. That that's that looks like the recreational use only bucket. Community with men usually means turning off a part of your brain. So I'm being so fucking for real when Ooh, I... Ooh, good lord. Um, yeah, it will, here's the thing. The only, the only time that... A woman can be just friends with a guy as if he's in the friend zone and vice versa. The only time a man can be just friends with a woman is if she's beat. Shots fired! It's just the way it is. I don't make the rules or if she's a big back. Big back, big back. I say this, if I'm not paying you for something and you're not paying me for something and neither one of us is required to be in the other's company. Bro, she ain't got nothing in her mouth, but her mouth looks so full. <laughs> <laughs> Teeth are crowded in there, boy not see me in relation with a man. The reason I don't believe in non-transactional relationships with men is because men don't believe in non-transactional relationships. Most men only maintain relationships that they believe will benefit them in some way, shape, or form in the future. And that's not just women. That's literally how men are taught to engage with any kind of relationship. You'll often see a man in relation with people he absolutely fucking hates, but he needs to maintain that relationship, so he does. If you can't point to one really clear clear benefit that he gets out of being in relation to you, then you are the thing he's trying to get out of that relationship. And regardless of what he wants from you, whether it's to fuck you, to make you do his work, or to just make him feel better, he's only associating with you because he wants something. So please keep that in mind. She's just projecting her insecurities. Yeah, I mean, that's big facts. Honey, it's just the men that you attract want something out of you. And I'm going to keep it a buck. I see this, and I'm already like massive red flags. Recreational use only. The glasses, the nose piercing, the crowded mouth. <laughs> like, those teeth are fighting for hell to get out of them lips, boy. <laughs> Poor girl. Um, but that's the thing. Single women keep women single, and misery loves company. So the more she projects this stuff, the more other women are going to be like, Yeah, I agree, girl. Yes, girl boss. Of course. And anymore. They're just going to give up. My question is, what don't you want to deal with? Women who have their own interests and goals. Women who want to work and be fulfilled. Women who want to choose whether or not to become a mother. Women who have thoughts and opinions about big issues and little issues. And then when he said something that women are going to have to deal with is the fact that men won't want them. And at the end, when he says this is a real issue that women are going to have to deal with as their options dwindle. Are options for men who want to keep us in traditional roles? Hard pass. So all of those things that you just named, man isn't typically bothered by any of those things. Yes, there are still men who are looking for a more traditional woman mm -hmm. who, yes, chooses to be in those responsibilities of cooking and cleaning and overall taking care of the house and the kids. But he wants a woman that's happy and willing to do those things. But I feel like a lot of men don't actually want a woman like that. He wants a woman that has all the qualities you just named. But I mean, if she has a career, yeah, he expects her to contribute to the bills. He's not intimidated by her accomplishments or her moving up in her career. Does he expect constant nagging, constantly being emasculated for no reason because he might fall a little short or behind her? No. Unfortunately, a lot of women think men just don't want an independent woman, we don't. which couldn't be further from the truth. He just wants a woman that's great to be around and has a wonderful personality. Most of the time, independent women don't. And is willing to contribute in the relationship. Not a woman that will sit back, work, but not contribute to bills, refuse to cook and clean, and he just has to somehow pick up all the work. It's mind-blowing. Well, yeah, well, that's the thing. Most of the time, that's how it goes. Independent women think, well, I provide... Loki, where are you at? Where'd you go? Go to your place. Place. 
you're my co-star, dude. I need you there. Um, most of the time, women, if they are working, they want to be independent. Therefore, they're like, well, I provide just like you. I'm not going to cook and clean. That's the thing. This is why I, I'm very much more traditional in that way. Like, cast doesn't work. I pay all the bills, but I get all my meals cooked. My house is clean. My laundry's done. If I ask for something, it's brought to me. That's the kind of relationship I want. Let's hop into the Reddit. 66 members, shout out to you guys. Great job. This one's from uh, FTP Gray 59. Let's see what we got here, brother man. This looks like a fresh and fit clip. Fans, and I wasn't famous. Do you think we would make the same amount of money realistically ah, speaking? So you're no. talking about money. You're not talking about options because you were saying, I don't have the option. Yeah, you have the option. If you want to make money, you can't. Why else would you thing. make it? You make it to make money. But <laughs> yeah, but you also don't study to make money. You study to become an intellectual. Hell like you. Nah. you need a job. <laughs> Bro, 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 let me know. Did you go to college and study to become an intellectual and become a philosopher, or did you do it to make money? Are you going to pay off Only your student Only women can say something Yo, so right, stupid, right, like, I'm right, going to go to college bro. to be an intellectual and not make money. Is being poor or is being broke like being an intellect? Like, this is so stupid. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Stop the fucking show. That literally proves my point. Stop the show. That women really have the choice. That. She said, I'm going to go to school to be an intellectual. What yeah, the fuck? Beautiful. Bro, it's no beautiful. dude goes to school saying, I'm going to go to school to be an intellectual. Every guy's like, damn, I need to get a job so I Got get some to. bitches. Four years college, so college debt, some money. Best yeah. our family. I'm like, bro, what? Like, oh. The women live in this Delulu land where they think they're going to school to be an intellectual. Good Lord. Uh, the screen punching moments when Brian meet uh, met Metstrol. Um, this is from looks beautiful disaster. This is from uh, the whatever podcast. We'll, we're not going to react to this entire thing, but we'll get a couple clips in here. Am I not allowed to speak? No, no, you are allowed to speak. But in order for us to hear you, uh, we have to allow you to speak and listen to you, and then in exchange, you have to That's allow crazy. us to speak and listen to you. What's crazy? Asking you to be polite and interrupt people. I've g I gave you a warning before, politely, and you continue doing it, and you're doing it to me now. Warning? Yes, I, I gave you a warning. What did you, you warn me about? These girls are so spoiled. This is why, like, zero accountability. This girl's in a relationship. Okay, um, <laughs> I warned you when Andrew was talking, you did were I interrupting hit? Have I hit? You think I'll hit a, some somebody? You, you think ask I the most anybody? like unrelated, like non sequitur questions. Can you, you can't keep up. Ever. That's why you can't keep up, like mentally. <laughs> when did I say <laughs> you were physically <laughs> okay. abusive? Oh, I can keep up mentally. Uh, so I, I know he's no. probably listening to everything that I'm saying, but you are just like I have no idea what you're saying. Like I shame, can... insult, guilt, and the need to be right. It's the shame Olympics, right? We always talk about this. It's always a sign. Not well, physically, like I'm losing there's... brain cells listening to you. I'm yeah, losing brain cells reason. listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Tony, Brian is a super successful podcast host, has over a million subscribers, and I think they hit a billion views, has some great minds on like Andrew, and is able to get a cast together. Trust me, honey, his value is much higher than yours. No, no, you. No, you. No, you, no, you did that. <laughs> Like, that's what you sound like. Okay. It is the effect this girl's doing on you if you're talking to Brian this way. So if you need me to actually articulate what you did before, Andrew was speaking, you've done it multiple times. You did it multiple times. You'll start talking while somebody else is talking. Andrew was talking. That's interrupting. So, and I told you to stop. And there's, I think some of that, within reason, uh, interjecting at certain key points in a conversation is fine, right? But there, I think there's a distinction between that and kind of incessant interrupting. The thing is, it's like, I'm not going to beat you up about it because I want to hear what you have to say. So let's, uh, let's have the combo. Jamie, show me the relationship with her father. It's pulling up great clips. Sorry, I don't have a time to react to this entire thing. Um, maybe we do that on another episode, though. Oh, my Lord. Y'all crack me up with these relationships nowadays. Bro, y'all are killing me, bro. <laughs> Go back. Play it again, buddy. Girlfriend, ex, side guy, boyfriend, best friend. <laughs> Who's that from? Who's that from? That was from uh, Koenig the Wizard, bro. That was good, bro. Wow. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you jump into the Reddit, post things. Um, they will have to be approved. So a couple things with the Reddit. Please make sure it doesn't have music um, because if it does, it'll get copyrighted. So no music and just clips that you want me to react to. And we'll go in here and I'll react to some more, probably maybe two to three every time we have an episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today. But um, really appreciate you guys. Just at 86,000 subscribers. So mad love to you. Loki, did you have a good time today? 
good. Uh, don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. But I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.